What up, what up, Salvador Brigham here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Divis 5 YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about crowdfunding, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, subscription-based crowdfunding, Patreon, etc. And today I want to get into, is Patreon good for you? And also, how does it work when it comes to doing this with YouTube? So I want to talk about this today, uh, specifically for you, if you are a YouTuber or you're putting out content on YouTube or you're thinking of monetizing in this way. So we'll be talking about that. And that's the focus of today's video. And if you've been watching my other stuff and you like my content, give me a thumbs up on this video, which is always great for the YouTube algorithm. But again, my name is Salvador Brigman. Let's get straight into this video and discuss over how Patreon works for YouTube and how you can use it. Okay, man, again, my name is Salvador Brigman. Let's get right into this. So how does Patreon work for YouTube? So I have a little bit of stuff that I wanna go through here today, and particularly it's gonna be useful for you if you want new ways to monetize your passion, if you wanna be able to monetize your channel, if you wanna make some extra dough, some extra money, and also eventually have this be the thing you're doing full time, not just from YouTube ad revenue, this is really a great video for you to watch to completion. So first of all, my first question is, do you have a following yet, man? Because if you don't yet have a following, I'm gonna just be brutally honest. It's gonna be very difficult for you to start a Patreon campaign. Now, I've done great studies on this. You can watch my other videos out there. Patreon campaigns typically grow with the actual community of the YouTuber. So as your brand is growing, as you're getting more subscribers, getting more people in the gate, that's also when your Patreon campaign tends to grow. If you don't yet have a following at all, it's gonna be very hard for you to make money or to earn recurring income with Patreon. That being said, you can get started as long as you have, I'd say like a couple hundred subscribers. Really important to at least have a little bit there and then you can begin to actually grow this and eventually over time it will snowball. But if you don't even yet have a channel, it's obviously gonna be a little bit premature for you to do a Patreon campaign. That's my first question for you. Now, when you got a video, you're putting out videos and I do wanna obviously talk more about like the how to and etc. but let's do a very high level view. I want you to understand your day. Like if you're putting out videos, you're filming, you're putting out content, etc. how would this work in your actual day flow? So the way this would work is with Patreon, you're raising money on what's called a subscription-based crowdfunding website. It's basically a recurring basis. People are supporting your work on a monthly basis or on a per creation basis. So per creation could be the example you put on a new video. Monthly basis is obviously on the monthly interval and they're supporting at a particular amount. Now on Patreon, a lot of different ways in which to say that. I'd say on average, it's usually about $5 to $25 uh, per month that they are supporting uh, when it comes to a Patreon campaign. Now, these people who are supporting you, and we'll get into like what they actually get at the end of the day, but for you, how would this look? How would this work? The way that this would work is that you as a YouTuber, you're putting out this content and you already have what are called CTAs. So what the heck is a CTA? CTAs are known as calls to action. A call to action is you have someone's attention. So you have their attention, right? You're, how are you gonna direct and focus that particular person's attention? So what is an entertainer? An entertainer is designed to get someone's attention from them also enjoy it in the process, right? You as an entertainer or as an infotainer or as someone who's putting out content that's useful the way that I do, you have people's attention. The question is how do you direct that attention in different ways that serve business objectives and business goals, right? So for example, CTA could be like and subscribe. It could be, you know, leave a comment down below. It could be things to actually get that video ranking higher. Could we look at this other video I did, right? You can do different CTAs or calls to action. In addition, there are ways in which you can actually monetize your CTAs. So the way you're technically monetizing your CTA right now and doing the different calls to action is you're trying to make money from ad revenue, right? You're trying to get more people watching for longer amounts of time, more engagement on the videos, means more money that you're making from ad revenue. That's the whole objective around the CTAs right now and growing your volume, you know, growing your channel, etc. What if you had a different CTA and that CTA was to go and check out my Patreon campaign and for a specific reason as well, which I'll get into in just a little bit. You can include these CTAs in your end cards if you use a special link. You can use it in your description, your pinned comments, your um, if you wanted to, you know, mention uh, comments like there, a lot of different stuff uh, when it comes to where you could actually include your CTAs. So, you know, you could mention this, for example, in uh, a video as, you know, text is appearing on the screen, or if you're actually talking on the video, that's what I mean by mentions here. It's like you're actually mentioning this in your content in some way. So you can mention your Patreon campaign and you're sending, you're funneling attention and traffic to that campaign, which then converts into recurring revenue, recurring subscriptions, recurring customers for you and for your business, which then begins to to grow your revenue over time in a consistent, dependable fashion. So you're using subscription-based crowdfunding in order to do that. So that's how your day would look, is that you're incorporating this into your CTAs. You're incorporating this into your marketing strategy. You're incorporating this into the awareness of your overall audience. And you're doing that through, you know, the different things I mentioned, description, pin comments, mentioning it in different places, uh, in the content of your video, et cetera. And you're sending traffic to the Patreon campaign that way. The second thing is to understand why do people stay around? Why do they even support this? So the reason why 
why they do this is for what are called reward tiers. You can kind of think of this like as insider exclusive information. Uh, you can call this perks, whatever it is that you want to do. There are different kits, K-I-T-S, uh, available on Patreon, which you can look into. And I'll give you an idea of some of the rewards which you can offer your subscribers. So for example, let's just say that you're gonna give them early access to a video before anyone else sees it. Or if you did like a podcast interview or something like that, maybe they're gonna get access to the full long form version of the podcast interview where at the end you ask them some very interesting, they got some very interesting offbeat questions, right? Which you only make available to your Patreon community. Or maybe they give input on your next particular video. Maybe you're doing live streams in the Patreon. Maybe you're even doing other cool stuff, which I talk about in my free course when it comes to actually growing your patrons and getting more people engaged and excited about your Patreon campaign. So people are supporting your campaign. The reason why they're supporting it, you're sending this traffic through the things I mentioned. You're directing all of this stuff, right? Over to your actual reward tiers, to your actual campaign. And they're supporting it so they get access to really cool exclusive stuff that they couldn't get anywhere else. So it's kind of like feeling an insider's um, circle, but also they're supporting a creator that they like and they're getting value out of it, okay? So based on this very simple model, what kind of ends up happening is that you're putting out more and more videos. So we're just gonna make a, I'm not the, I'm not the best drawer in the world, right? <laughs> not the best drawer in the world. You're putting out a lot of, a lot of different videos. All of these little boxes will say, stand for like a new video, which you put out. So you're putting out all of these different little videos. I call this like building your ammo, okay? It's kind of like you're filling up your war chest, right? with all that content you got. You then are directing all of this content in different ways that we mentioned to a campaign which you're running on Patreon. So maybe you even have a video here, you have a little header if you want to introducing what you're doing. This is your Patreon campaign and some different uh, reward tiers that you got there. You're sending people to this. Now, here's the other cool thing. What ends up happening when you get a video that goes viral or that is getting consistent traffic over time is that you're consistently then growing this, growing this, growing this, and you're getting more and more people uh, to actually join your community. So for example, let's just say this is like a doorway. They then kind of pop out the other side and you have more and more people here that are supporting your actual campaign. And your recurring income is going up and up and up. And it's growing as well with your brand. So in terms of how this works for YouTube, this is how you can introduce it, right? In terms of the traffic and sending it to your Patreon campaign. This is why people are supporting. And over time, they're continuing to support, which means that all of these add up to little, 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 little income streams. So whether it's five to 25 bucks a month that ends up cash in your bank, which allows you to create more stuff, which allows you to be able to fund your work, which allows you to maybe be able to quit your full-time job and do this for a living. It's really great because it's really just getting, you know, fan funding. It's subscription-based crowdfunding. You're going straight to the crowd versus trying to maybe like raise money from another company or something like that. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from FulfillRight today. Link in the description. So first of all, anyone out there can do this. Anyone out there can set up a Patreon campaign. I have another video out there on YouTube sharing with you exactly how to do this. I have a complete tutorial walking through Patreon so you can actually learn how to do this. Uh, it's very easy. If you want to, you could upload a video. You don't have to necessarily. The main thing is you need to come up with some perks and rewards, some reward tiers that you can offer these people to incentivize them to get excited about becoming a part of your community. In addition, what's the other thing that everyone could do? Everyone can do CTAs. Everyone can send traffic because you're already sending traffic. You're already directing people to like your video, to subscribe, to do this, go and check out this other video, right? To boost your ad revenue. Now what you're doing is you're adding in another CTA, but actually is a different monetization technique using subscription-based crowdfunding. So anyone can do this. However, there are some things that will make you far more successful than other people. So what are some of the things that will make you more successful? Number one is understanding how to do marketing. So how do you actually market your campaign? This is definitely gonna make you way more successful because you know how to introduce it to your community. The other is introducing interesting or unique or in, uh, really great with loaded with value, interesting tiers, reward tiers. Um, if you figure out how to do this, obviously you're gonna have more people. Let's say you send a thousand people to this page, right? This campaign page. If you have really interesting offering, more people are gonna convert into being a subscriber of yours than if you didn't have an interesting offering, right? It could be night and day. So you can send people in traffic there, but it's only convert into subscribers if you have really interesting reward tiers. Other things are uh, retention. So how do I get retention of my subscribers? How do I make sure people don't quit? How do I make sure that if I get tons of people that are checking this out, that they actually stay around and continue to fund the work over time and they continue to be a long-term member of my community? The next one would be really simple, which is actually just how to get more patrons. So there are tricks. 
um, there are techniques where you can actually employ these and they're virtually guaranteed to get you more patrons. So patrons are the people that are supporting your campaign, the people that are actually um, donating money right on a monthly basis or are supporting you and getting something back. Getting more patrons, there are proven techniques, there are strategies which you can use, um, there are even tricks, if you will, that will allow you to get a rush of funding, particularly when you first launch this campaign. So if you haven't yet actually launched your Patreon campaign, there are new things that you can do that will get you a rush of funding within the first couple of weeks when it comes to your campaign, as well as even if you already are running a Patreon campaign and you feel like it just kind of stagnant or you don't really know what to do or you want to understand the actual tried and true techniques and methods to get people to become part of your community, there are things that you can master and if you study this, it makes it really easy. And finally, no man, there are so many tools slash resources that you don't even know about. And if you can get access to these, it can really help you kind of just almost put out this on turbo charge or you know, put this on light speed, just make it happen a lot faster for you. Um, so the first time I started to realize this actually was for me was when I was playing, you know, so this is like a divergent tangent, um, my uncle when I was playing chess with my uncle, right? And I was so bad at chess and I really was not very good. I kept losing, losing, losing. And one day I picked up a book on chess strategy. I found it actually at an old store. Um, it was almost like a used bookstore and they were doing this sale and I found this chess book and I thought it was kind of interesting. So I just kind of started to flip through it. And all of a sudden I started to learn about chess strategy. And then the next time that I played my uncle, I was like 10 times better, but I didn't, wasn't smarter, right? I'm not necessarily that good at like math and that kind of stuff when it comes to strategy and games and stuff like that. All it was that I just knew the strategy strategy. I knew what works. I knew how to do particular moves and I just memorized it, right? When you do the same thing, when you pick up a book, when you take a, you know, digest something, whether it's a video like this and you really apply a strategy that works, your results can skyrocket. It can seem like magic, but it's really just, you're doing what already people have already figured out, right? So it's not, it's not really magic. So there are tools and resources as well, which will go into this. So I have a free course that answers these questions and others that I want to share with you that I'm going to link up down below. This is going to really go through some of the things you need to do in order to get patrons, some of the stuff you should be aware of when it comes to launching a new campaign, how to incorporate this into your channel, into your actual marketing efforts, go through all of that in this free course. So I hope that you check it out down below because it is very useful, it's very practical. Try to keep it as no nonsense as possible and eliminate all that kind of theory and fluff, which doesn't really work, right? And just kind of is a filler, if you will. So if you like that kind of strategy, the kind of no nonsense way that I like to share with you and teach with you, you will like this free course down below. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if nothing else, you now at least understand, number one, how this fits into your actual YouTube channel. Number two, expectations in terms of why people are actually gonna join your campaign. Uh, how this can lead to a river of income for you over time, and most importantly as well, how this grows with your brand over time. So not only are you making money from YouTube ads, not only are you growing your channel, but you also have a back-end monetization strategy, which is, in my opinion, um, the most important thing for any business owner out there, because you really can't depend on algorithms at the end of the day, but you can depend on your fans. So if you feel like you learned a lot in this video, give me a thumbs up, let me know, come subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and leave a comment down below if you did enjoy this video. But my name is Salvador Brigman, and I will see you next time.